Hello everyone, Sheik here with another Transformers review, and today I will be reviewing Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures Repugnus. This is a one-step changer. He has a gimmick called Gruesome Chomp, and to activate you just pull on that right there. As you can see, very simple box packaging. I mean, the figure is accessible right there. Gruesome Chomp, Repugnus, one step. He's an Autobot. That's what it looks like. Robot mode converts very quickly. Yeah, and that's about it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and pop them open. As you can see, this is the kind of packaging that once you open it, you cannot undo it. So yeah, but then again, it's just, you know, little box. Uh, uh, these are not instructions because, you know, one step, that's just, you know, warning, don't eat anything, just like usual. And as you can see, he does have some ties holding him in place. Let's see if I can get these off without having to uh, hurt myself or because um, I don't, again, I do not have scissors or a knife on me to cut them for whatever reason, you know, because I was not prepared enough for this video. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this other claw out and here we are. And this is Autobot. Repugnus, and as you can see, he is a weird little um, creature of some sort. Uh, here's his uh, claws done in a, looks like red plastic that's painted white, just like the, his forearms are. Um, of course, the pincers, the mouth doesn't move, got green eyes, brown face, white teeth, white pincers. On the back, you can see robot mode details. Like that looks like the back of his uh, legs. Back of his legs right here. These are his actual legs, it looks like. And then these are the little um, critter legs. And let's go ahead and see about transforming him. All right, to transform him, you know, I know I shouldn't have a deposit to look at the instructions which are on the box, but all you do is you pull back his feet like that and just flip him around, flip this around back here, and then uh, orientate his arms, get his hands out, and there you go. There's his robot mode. And let's go ahead and take a look at that noggin. Uh, not the most detailed, looks like yellow plastic with white eyes, and then red paint on the side. Of course, there's no articulation on this. Um, there's um, Yellow plastic with red on the chest, Autobot emblem. And then, as you can see, molded in hands right below his uh, claws. Then, of course, no articulation at the legs. Yellow for the knees, red plastic for the legs. There's the back of his legs right there. Uh, as far as ar the articulation he does have, of course, this is just part of the gimmick. No real point in robot mode. With arms to go out that far, you do a full 360. The, there's a ball joint at the bicep, and it can go just a little over 90 degrees back that far, and that's pretty much it for articulation, just arms. No head swivel, didn't even bother to put a head swivel, but eh, he's, he's all right considering what he does. One step changer, um, more of a one step changer than some of them, like Whirl, he still has a couple extra steps you gotta do to yeah, I'm transformed, but yeah, very quick, straightforward transformation, and there you go. He's already back in his, uh, uh whatever this, uh, mode is. Repugnus, um, is some sort of monster, um, uh, but yeah, pretty cool, very, very cool gimmick. I've, I've kind of always kind of not really liked one step changers because their lack of articulation they have to sacrifice a lot to be able to do this but not all of them do it that great i feel like this one's an actually halfway decent one especially if you don't really care about posing them but may just like you know having them like that so yeah that's about it for a repugnus um if you like what you've seen and you'd like to see more click that like and subscribe button to see more and uh, this video wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for my good friend letting me use his desk at his place because I don't have a place of my own right now. Anyway, until next time, have a good one, everyone.